Forces Hero here guys and welcome to my Inform Pele player review. Now as you can see this is the team that I played him on but we are going to talk about whether to play him with uh, a one man striker formation or two man striker formation. Uh, I also played him on the Lukaku hybrid, uh, sorry the BPL hybrid on the previous video so you can also go check that out if you want. So I bought him for 11k on the Xbox market and he's really not going to go up in price. He's got medium low work rates, uh, 4 star weak foot and... You know, uh, I thought that uh, he, he does have some pretty big stats, so let's go over them. Uh, he does have 93 strength, 85 positioning, 89 shot power, 96 finishing, 92 heading accuracy, and uh, 90 volleys as well. So these are some big stats for a player who only has 80 shot, 58 pace, 88 heading, and 69 dribbling on his actual card. But again, it's all about the in-game stats. I, really, I never really look at the actual card itself. It's because... Uh, it's kind of a waste of time. You really do need to look at those in-game stats. So, how well does he play on the actual field? Now, let's talk about his physical aspect. He is slow. 60 sprint speed. You're not buying him because he's fast. But uh, if we talk about how well he does, you know, in terms of strength, he does have that 93 strength stat. So, he is very strong on the ball. However, I didn't feel as though it was 93 strength. And that could have had something to do with his pace, I'm not sure. But Drogba and Lukaku did feel significantly uh, stronger than Pele. He is also quite slow in terms of making his way to the ball sometimes. But, you know, it is expected of a player uh, like him. So, uh, 85 positioning. I don't know. For me, I hate players with that medium uh, attacking work rate in terms of strikers. Uh, just because you got to do more of the work. So I would highly suggest you do not play him in a one-man striker formation. Play him in, in like a 4-2-2, 2, two, two uh, a 4 one 2 and 2 a 3-5-2. Anything that is not, uh, you know, a one-man striker formation. Just because uh, you need to do those quick 1-2s in order to get him in position because he is quite slow. And um, let's move on to some of his skill stats, uh, which is really what you guys want to see. So... Although he does have 69 dribbling, he does have 80 ball control, which feels actually about right. Uh, his ball control is really good when it's, once he gets on the ball. However, uh, you know, the 66 agility really makes him, uh, like, he turns like an aircraft carrier when you do turn the ball with him. But overall, I mean, for, for a big player with 69 dribbling, he does have good ball control. Um, 92 heading accuracy. He's, uh, his heading is just ridiculous. Um, but... He, he does have 77 jumping, doesn't feel like 77, uh, he does miss quite a bit of headers, believe it or not, for somebody with 88 heading. Uh, it did get me a little frustrated sometimes because uh, he didn't score as many headers as I would like, but I'm sure that uh, his heading is wonderful, even the headers that I did score are great um, in terms of you know him putting it in the back of the net. Uh, when it's on his head, it's usually going in or very close to going in unless there's a really good goalkeeper in nets. Uh, but 96 finishing on any one-on-ones, you're just going to see him finish it in, uh, put it in the back of the net, whatever you want to call it. He scores goals, uh, very easily, uh, with that shot, uh, that, you know, the 89 shot power is really apparent. He just puts a great amount of, uh, power into the ball. Free kicks for the stats that he has for free kicks. I actually nearly almost scored one with him, uh, which, I mean, I obviously wouldn't recommend taking more, uh, taking all your free kicks with him, but he was pretty decent considering his stats. Uh, his finesse shot is just out of this world. Uh, there's a clip right here. Uh, look at this. this. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, but his finesse shot is just amazing. Um, the 80 shot that he has on his card definitely feels higher. It says he has 63 curve on his card. Yeah, that's a, that's a big lie. Uh, his finesse shot's amazing. 82 short passing as well. Uh, a great bonus. Um, says he has 61 passing on his card really because he has... Low long passing and crossing, but 82 short passing is great to have uh, for him for the one twos that you need. So overall, I thought that he had great heading, uh, decent strength, and great finishing. And for 11k, you should definitely pick him up. So thank you for watching uh, this video, and uh, hopefully you can uh, subscribe or uh, really hit a like. I might do an info pandev next or a really expensive player. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.